Hello everyone and welcome to Fred Productions. My name is Henrik Limlad and I will be your captain in today's tutorial on how to make a simple title sequence. I start off with going to uh, Vector Stuff Blog Spot to download a couple of airplane vectors. Then I go into Illustrator and I open them up and choose the ones that I need for the project. Then I go to a new file and I draw a rectangle and I need to get a gradient here so I go to my swatches and I'll open up the swatch library. I go gradients and I go tints and shades. Then I double click on it and I go and change it from linear to radial gradient. Now I go control C copy it, open up in Photoshop and I paste it. After I've done this and saved all the files I go to After Effects, go Competition, Composition, New Composition, make sure the settings is 1920 times 1080. Then I go Control I to import the files that I need for this tutorial. Then I drag in the gradient to the timeline or to the canvas and automatically makes it a new layer and then I've pre-made it a vignette in Photoshop which I also position within the canvas. Then I lock the layers and I drag the first object which is an airplane into the canvas. And I go down and I scale this one because I want it to be like a flyby. I want to come from the horizon and fly over us. So I position it a bit down and scale it down so it will almost be invisible. And then I put two keyframes in, for one for position and one for scale. Now I go and stretch the timeline so I can see it per seconds instead of minutes. I get um, more control when I start doing the animation. I put in another two keyframes and I resize the airplane to become a bit bigger and I try to center it. Then I keep going down the timeline and I add another two keyframes. And I blow up the airplane a bit and make it disappear outside the canvas. Let's see. Yeah. That looks alright. Now I go and grab the second object, which is also an airplane, and I make sure to position it outside the canvas. Then I go into the plane layer and I put a keyframe for position. And then I go a little bit forward in the timeline, and I by just by dragging the airplane, I automatically create create a new keyframe. And then I go to the text tool, and I type in the production name, which is Autopilot Productions. Whoops, a spelling error. I'll have to correct that. And I try to position that in the center where the airplane just ran across, just like that. And I make sure that the text will not appear until the airplane has passed by. I go and I do a control. C to copy and control V to paste it. First layer is going to be white, so I turn off the visibility of that one. The second one, I highlight the word pilot, go to the color picker tool, and I choose the color, some kind of purple, purplish color. Then I go to the first auto productions and I do the same with the whole with the whole title. I 
I go effects, I go transition, and I go CC light white. Go down to the layer. And I put in a keyframe for the comp completion. And I put in another keyframe, or I'm just going to change the percentage. And then I go effects, stylize, and CC burn fill. Just have to scroll down and I open up the effect, put in a keyframe, drag it a little bit forward in the timeline, and I go up to 100%. Now I need to put in the second layer, visible again. And I need to make sure that that one comes underneath the first layer. So it won't be visible until I want it to be visible. I just need to make sure that it follows the timeline which everything in the whole animation is based on. go window project to get up the project files and here I choose not the third plane that I'm going to be using in this animation I also make sure that it's outside the canvas I go inside the layer and I put a keyframe for position Just adjust the keyframe a little bit so it will come in. So it will come right according to the timeline, and I drag over the plane. Now I need to go into production in again. Now make sure that this will finish when the second layer starts. I need to go to layer and I make a new layer mask. Now I need to make sure that the mask will follow the airplane so the text kind of vanish while the airplane is flying past it. Put in a keyframe and the second keyframe just when the airplane passed. It. And then I go and I drag the anchor points from left to the right so it follows the airplane. Then I go to the third layer and I drag it to the bottom of the three autopilot production layers and I go Effect, Blur, and Fast Blur. And I go and I put a keyframe for the blur. And I'll set the second keyframe or I'll just turn up the blur in this. to the text tool and I type in percents now I need this to be centered 
So by using using eye measurements, I just go in and put it on top of the other layer, and I make sure that it won't be visible until the plane has passed by here. Then I go effect and I go fast blur again. And put in a keyframe and I set the blur in this. Put in another keyframe and I'll scale that back so it will be visible again. Now I need to go and get project again, window project. Well, actually, I've got it underneath the canvas, which is not displayed for you. And I drag the third plane once again into the canvas, creating another layer. And I need to rotate that. Oh, no. Do the actual rotation, the angle needs to be here, 270 it's pointing towards. And I'm going to be scaling it up a bit so that it will cover the text as it flies by. a keyframe for position and second one I'll just drag that along and I need to make sure that it goes outside the canvas yeah. and then I want the word percents to disappear so I go down to its layer and I put the opacity and I just make it run over the word and I like turn off the opacity go and grab the project again this time I need the world map which is our vector image that I downloaded previously drag that into the timeline And I want it to start just as the plane has gone on top of it. So I get down into the <coughs> world layer and I turn off the opacity on that one. I put in a keyframe and drag the timeline a bit further up and another keyframe and I just I don't want it to go up into 100% because I want the text coming up to be visible as well. So about 55%. Oh, the text tool. I've been typing on a, <coughs> the wrong layer here. Just go Control Z to undo that. Drag it in again. And I type in Griffith. Now I highlight the word, go to the color picker, and I choose the color that I've been using before. Position that down. And I go to the text tool and type in you now international. I also highlight in that and I choose the white color. So this is basically it that we have done so far and I need to get to the project again and I have downloaded some old vintage uh, style image that I'm going to have on top of everything to make it look a bit old school. So I'll make sure I position that within the canvas. a bit bigger then I go layer and here I need to go to blending mode and I go multiply 
and I think it's a bit too dark so I'll go to the layer and I'll turn down the opacity of it. And since this movie clip is a little bit short I need to go and copy that and drag that into the timeline where I want it to be. Anyway let's have a look at the finished product here and I hope you've been, been enjoying this tutorial as much as I have. My name is Henrik Limbaugh for Fred Productions and I hope to see you.